Hi guys and dolls, welcome back to Michelle's Manny's. It's Michelle, back with another video for you today. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Please consider subscribing. And don't forget to like, comment. I love reading your comments. I do try and reply to each and every one. And let's get on with the video. So, I decided to share a little stamping Manny with you today. This is a plate that I got in a recent Amazon haul. It's Lee Beauty 004. I hadn't heard of that brand before, but I'm telling you, it is etched so, so well. And here you see me cleaning the plate with 100% uh, pure acetone after you take off the blue film. You always clean them with acetone in case there's any residue left behind because if there is, the polish may not pick up very well. Clean it before you use it and clean it in between each pickup, each stamp. So I did try water paints, didn't work out too well. So you see them there. I went with some polishes. I have the pink is number 16 by Born Pretty. The blue is number six by Born Pretty. And the white is number one by Nicole Diary, which I think is a subsidiary of Born Pretty. Um, I apologize in advance. The actual stamping onto my fingers is a little bit out of frame. But I just wanted to show you here how I did three different colors. And you do see the finished product. You do see it on my nail after I stamp it. When we all know how to stamp an image onto your nail, right? Just put it on, roll it, done. Um, it's actually quite cute. I did like a different gradient with each nail. Like pink, blue, white, white, blue, pink, uh, blue, pink, white. I tried to do it differently on each nail. It's subtle, but it's very, very cute. You'll see the finished product in the end. It's a very short video. I just showed you a couple of nails because I did realize it was out of shot. So what's the point? Just, you know, just show you picking me. Show me. Oh my goodness. Tongue tied today. Show you how I pick up the polish. You basically roll the stamper, the jelly stamper onto the stamping plate to pick it up and do the same on your nail. If you want a straight line, however, it's best just to go straight down with the stamper and straight down onto your nail. I learned that the hard way and I hope you don't have to. <laughs> yeah, so straight lines, uh, even solid um, images where you have a lot of solid color. It's it's best to go straight down onto the stamper and sh or, or you can roll onto the stamper, but it's best to go straight down onto the nail. Otherwise, you might get some separation. I've had that happen. <coughs> Excuse me. So you see, I've done two hands already. I'm just cleaning up around the edges with a little bit of acetone on a cleanup brush. Easy peasy, so easy because it's just nail polish. It's not gel polish that you've cured onto your hands or, or whatever. And afterwards, again, i just show you a couple of fingers. Afterwards, uh, once it, you should let it dry a little bit. Otherwise, your gel top coat might smudge it. You can get smudge-free regular top coat, but I prefer gel top coat just because my work is so hard on my polishes otherwise. So I just put the Imaly No Wipe top coat on there. I've got a little sticker on the thing that's because I got glitter in it, but I don't mind a little bit of glitter over this stamping. I do do two coats. You should always do two coats over stamping. Um, I've never had an issue with Imaly gel, Imaly top coat smudging stamping, but I do kind of float it over the nail. If you notice the brush is not fanning out at all, that's because I'm putting very, very, very minimal pressure on the brush and that should take care of any smudging issues quick note though a matte top coat you're gonna have issues guarantee you you're gonna have issues so in a second I will show you the finished product and there it is a little bit of cuticle oil it's quite cute I quite like that little bit of water effect without the actual water so there we go ciao for now 